So welcome back all of you, Nana here, and then uh, we end the next day session on this uh, fusion inventory implementation. And then uh, we have completed the item import, and then today we are going to see the stock import. <clears throat> Let me go and then share my screen now. And then in the item import, uh, one thing you have to remember now, you have to go there, uh, you click on this uh, tools, and then here, download desktop integrator is there. Fine. You click on it, you click on the download desktop integrator, and then install it. Fine. You download and then install it. So this is a must. So first of all, you have to install the download, uh, not necessarily for the item import, but when you want to bring it to your spreadsheet, this is required. This is called ADF DA Excel add in installer actually. So you install it, fine. Double download and then install. So that is the one. And then afterwards, one more thing you have to do on the Excel sheet is what? You go there on the Excel sheet. When you want to bring it in, you go there, click on it. And then you go to the file. And then here you go to the, what's called uh, options now. On the file options, you can go. In the file options, you can go. And then you go to the trust center now. File options, you go to the trust center. And then you click on the trust center settings. You go to the trust center settings. And go there, click on it. And then here on the, what's called uh, external content. You enable everything now. You enable, enable, enable external content. Fine, enable all the things must be enabled. And then on you go to the macro settings. On the macro settings, you enable it. Macro settings must be enabled, and then the trust VBA project must be ticked now. Then only when you download it to your Excel sheet, it will work actually. Fine. Remember the external content and then the macro settings must be done now. In the trust center settings. Fine, you cancel now. Fine. On that, you go to the whatever is file and then go to the trust center to find. You go to file options and then go to the trust center, trust center settings. And then here on the uh, what's called on the external content, everything must be enabled. And then the macro settings, it must be enabled. And then with a tick mark for the VBA project. So this much is sufficient for you. Find that you want to close it now. Then it will work when you download it in the Excel sheet, it will know you're working. And I hope that all of you are in my uh, Telegram group. If I have not added you, please tell me because my students help me out uh, uh, with uh, the instance details so that as long as they help, I will be you know, posting it over here now. Because after the training, uh, you will be having an access only to the Telegram group. And then uh, <coughs> this sort of a uh, long term working instances will not be available for you. Uh, I will not try to provide one for the order management. I already asked him now. He says that, okay, sir, I will not try. This is what he's saying, but he's not giving me assurance actually. So these are all short lived instances. So you have to be uh, content with that now and make a quick, uh, quick go there. Two or three days only it will work. And then within the time, you have to complete your practices. Actually. Try to practice on the vision now. <clears throat> now you go there. We'll now go on and have a look at now. Now we are going to have the stock, stock import now. Right? Stock import. So first of all, go to docs.org.com. Docs.org.com and go there. Click on it. And then here you go there. <clears throat> and then click on the cloud applications on the left hand side. Click on the cloud applications. And then I am working on 20A. First of all, you have to see what is your version now. Fine, click on the version must be shown down to you. Uh, no, sorry. Go there, click on it. I will now go to the login now. So here, I will now log in. <clears throat> so it must be uh, the cloud version must be known to you. So on that particular one, you had to go to the template. Fine, click on it and then go to the about about the application. It will not tell you it is a 20A. So we had to download a 20A template actually. Click on it. So you go there, click on it. And then here I will not choose my uh, module for inventory management of the model. I choose a now, click on it. And then choose is a 20A. Fine, choose it as a 20A. And then afterwards, after choosing the thing, you go to the books on the left-hand side now. Click on the books. You got plenty of books on this now. Getting started, user guide, and then implementation guides. Fine, so much of a document is there for every module now. Fine. And then we'll be having administration guides also. The security manuals are available, configuration extensions, so much to read actually. Now you go to the development now. On this place, you go to the development. In the development, we have the file based data import as well as the, your Java, REST, everything is there. And SOAP is there, REST is there. Now Oracle is going to discontinue SOAP and then uh, completely rely only upon REST. That is what on my technical team told me. So gradually they will now remove the SOAP one and then uh, they will now concentrate mainly on REST actually. And SOAP is also going to work actually. They say that uh, REST is going to be concentrated by Oracle Degrade Excel actually. And this is had to learn. Fine. If anybody on the technical side is now going to give you a training, it will be excellent actually. So go there. And then click on the HTML. <coughs> go there. Click on the HTML. And then here, there are plenty of things are there. In the product uh, audience, if you go to the MDM, here you have the item import now. Fine. You got to change order. There are so many things are there. So in this place, I did the item import on the MDM area. And then I go to the inventory management. You've got plenty of templates also. Fine. This many you can upload actually. <clears throat> this is the only thing which is available as of now. Now I'll now go to the transaction import now. So click on the inventory transaction import. Fine. Go there. It's got four sheets actually. So one of the transaction, one for lot and then one for serial. Lot and serial is a lab exercise for you. You can do it. And then one for cost. Cost also will do it now. So one is the main one. And then one, second sheet is a lot. And then third sheet is a serial. And then the fourth is the cost. So we'll now do the costing actually. Lot and serial is a lab exercise for you. I will now click on this now. Fine. It will now start a download now. Click on this one. I will not say uh, it's uh, in the import. I will not say M20 <coughs> stock import. 
uh, you know, name it as what M20 stock import and then I'm in the, in the import file, click on save now. <coughs> and now there, we'll go there. Let us open it up. So click on it, let us open it up and then start doing it now. <coughs> we open it up. So we are working on it. And then uh, always try to read the first page now. It will not tell you where exactly you have to put it now, fine. which is your UCM area. And then what is the import concurrent now? Fine. Everything will be recommended now. Fine. So, on it. so it will be telling you somewhere here now. Fine. I don't know, remember exactly. So each and every import, you can read it once actually. Fine, go there, click on it. We're importing, fine, go there, click on it. Schedule process, you ran it now. Fine, go there. So you go there and then uh, he's now asking you, fine. Click on manage pending transactions task if there is a problem. You're going to see this now, fine. To correct the import errors, is now saying you have to go this area. Fine. We will now, I will now generate error and then I will now go on and show you in the pending transaction actually how to correct the error and then the submit it uh, process and then submit the process error. Uh, it's now saying fine. It, may be, it will be giving you the uh, UCM area also. Here the UCM, see, you have to run the concurrent call manage inventory transactions for pulling it to the base tables actually. And for pushing it to the interface tables, it is a create inventory transactions. The UCM area is create inventory transactions and then to bring it to the base table, it is manage inventory transactions. It will be written somewhere. I don't have patience to read all this thing now. Fine. Whenever you are doing a new one, you read it fully, fully now. Fine. It'll not tell you. So to bring it to the UCM area, it is a create inventory transactions and then to bring it to the base tables, it is manage inventory transactions. Somewhere it will be written there. So you go there and then see this now. <clears throat> so one second, somebody has come on. So my wife is sleeping. I have now resumed the recording. So have a habit of whatever you are importing it, read it once now. Right? This particular first page, you read it once, it will now give you a lot of information on this one. So the thing to bring it in uh, to the UCM area is create inventory transactions, and then to bring it to the base tables, so it is manage inventory transactions. So manage inventory transactions will now bring it to the base table. So you go there, click on it now. Fine, go there. So I will now delete the second record now, I now have only one record. So first of all, it needs the organization name now. Fine, go and come now. It needs the organization name. Let us go there and then find out the organization name in our system now. Go to this place. So here, uh, I will now go to the product management and then go to the product information management and then we will now try to find out the organization name. Fine, click on it. I will now go to the browser items now. Fine, browser items. <coughs> and then there, I will now add the field now. Fine, click on the add field. So it is a starting lot number. No? Starting lot. And then entry now. Fine. So it is now coming. Fine, go there. Click on it. Add it now. <coughs> we are adding the field now. So click on add, it will be coming in the bottom. Fine, click on it and then click on OK, it will be coming now. So my starting lot number is uh, uh, 2020 now. Fine, go there. So I will not put the 2020 and then see the one. Fine, yesterday we have now done this now. Go there, click on it. 2020 is the one. And then click on search now. You know, already imported this batch number now. Fine, go there, click on it. You know, getting it now. Fine, go there. So I will now hide the icon, hide it. We can even by default also, you can make it by page customization, you can do it now. So I did M20 import test one now. Fine, go there, click on it. So we will now see the organization name. So the organization name is what? K99 underscore master. So let us let me take a copy now. Fine. Everything is in caps now. Fine. So let us now put it on this place. Now, fine. Exactly. K99 underscore master. <clears throat> fine. Brother. So that is the one. No, no, sir. You are not doing any transaction in the master, right? Oh, oh, oh. You're not doing anything on the master character. I have to do a child now. Fine. Click on it. So I have to do the child now. Uh, I have to do the child actually. So where is the child? You can now? take a K991. K991. Okay, fine. I will not take K99. Now. So I will now say K991 is the one. The one. So this is the name of the organization. Remember. So organization is not a code actually. Oh, this is a code actually. I have to have the name now. Fine. He's asking for the name. So where to find out the name here? Fine. K991. I have to find out the name now. How to find it out? Well, now I to open, open the item. Now open the item and then see this. Okay, fine. We need the name of this now. So I will now open the item and then try to find out the name of the item, organization actually. <clears throat> we need the name and not the code actually. So whatever is needed, what happens, you have to do it now. So K991 is coming. Come on, it is not showing me here now. Okay, let us now go to the, what's called, manage inventory org and then try to find out. associations we can see. Oh, in the associations, okay. Associations, yeah, very good. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, organization name is here. Yeah, 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 exactly. Here you can see, okay, fine. The organization name itself. So everything is caps now. K99 underscore child underscore one. Everything is caps now. It's a, a K99 underscore child underscore one now. So you put the appropriate. First of all, keep everything on an Excel sheet and then what is required, can do it now. So process flag is okay. And then the item number, I will not take it up from this place now. What is the item number? Uh, M20 underscore IMP underscore test one now. Fine, I know on the test two, fine. I know M20 underscore IMP underscore test one, I will not do it now. Fine. M20, everything is small now. M20 underscore IMP underscore test one now. And then revision, you remove it now. Fine. It will not pick up from the organization parameters actually. Revision, you can leave it now. Fine. If you want to transact on a specific revision, you have to give it now. Now, if you are going for a lot and serial number, item with a lot serial numbers, you have to give this number now. 
whatever. So here it says TM1 is for the lot interface. Now, if you go to the second one, you can now see the TM1. And then it will be having a serial interface as SR1, SCR1. And then you can now see that is coming over here. So likewise, you have to do it now. I'm not testing it. And then you can now from serial numbers to serial numbers, you cannot test it. And then here also, you can go there and then give a lot number for this one. The lot number can be given over here and then the serial number range, you can give it and then you can see whether it is getting populated. There's a lab access for you. So I'm not going to test on this now. So from the main one, the reference is here, the TM1, and then you go to this place and then put the TM1 over here and then put the serial number reason and then you go to this one. If there is not serial control, no reference is required. Now you go there. In this place, you go there and then put the SCR1 now, right? The lot interface and serial number is put over, you put it and then put the lot number, right? So the lot number and then in this place, in the serial number, you can give the range of serial numbers. You try this, there is a lab access for you. I'm not going to do it now, fine. No others. But I will not do the costing and then show it to you. Fine. The costing I will not show it to you. So you go there and then I will not remove it now. Fine. So first of all, I will not remove the second line, not totally. On this display, I will not remove it. I will not remove it. Fine. So submit my record, I will not make a mistake. And then it says what? If there is an error, you can now see on the pending transactions. The manage pending transactions will not show you all the errors. Fine. So I will not generate error here now. Fine. This is what I'm saying. So let us go there. Let us not generate error actually. So where to see the sub inventory now? Fine, the sub inventory is not here. Thank you. Cancel now. <coughs> I will now go to the manage uh, sub inventories and locators and then identify the sub inventory. Okay, fine. I'll now go to the setup and maintenance. <coughs> just give XXX now. Huh? I mean, you can just supply XXX on the Excel sheet. It's not going to be there as a sub inventory. Uh, in my Excel sheet, you're saying? Yeah. In this place, XXX. Yeah, it's surely going to error out. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah, just... <laughs> okay. No, that's okay. It's definitely going to error out. I'll now make a small mistake and then manage sub and then locator now. Fine. I'll now make a small mistake and then I'll now correct it actually. Go there. I'll now correct it actually. The K991 is the one entry now. Click on okay now. So I have a sub inventory called K991 underscore sub one now. Fine. It's all small now. I will now make one, uh, one nine less now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. So, so that I can even uh, correct later on. Fine. K99 underscore sub one now. Fine. One nine is missing actually here now. So it is a, a double nine one. K991, but I put only one uh, K9. Oh, I, have, I not put the one actually. K99 I have put, but I have not put the one actually. So it's a mistake actually. Uh, later on I will not add the one now. So I've done it now. Fine. Sub inventory is there. <coughs> go there. Go further. Go further. Go further, go further. And then here, I don't understand this now. I will now make pot say, let's say 20 quantities, 20 each. And then I will now find out the units of measures now. Fine. Click on done. I have not done the units of measures now. Click on it. Click on done now. <clears throat> I will now again go to the manage inventory org and then uh, I will now go to the product information management and then I see this now. Uh, or rather, I will now make a transaction on this now. Fine. Go to the place, go to the inventory management and then try to make a transaction on this now. Fine. Click on create it now. Create a miscellaneous transaction. <clears throat> Go there and then I drop it down. And then I am in this or K99 only. So I will not make a miscellaneous result. And then I will not put 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1000. <coughs> Go there and then click on the item now. Click on yes and then click on plus. I will not put this item M20 underscore IMP. And then give it a tab. It will not tell me the units of measures actually. So I will not put the units of measures exactly. Or it is coming. <coughs> so we're going to add it now. So it's uh, you slightly expand it so that whatever you'll be getting a magnifier over here now. And M20 underscore EMP and then give it tab now. Item will be coming. Uh, this is the one EMP test one, the one you're doing it now. Click on okay now. So this place the units are measured the each actually. Fine. EACH. Fine. So it does not put it on this place now. Fine. It is a capital EACH. Got it. So each is not done. And this transaction date is giving error now. And I don't know why it is, why it is so. Maybe may system preferences, I would have given a thing, but I cannot accept this date at all. And 2000 dollars at all. When I tried it last time, it was giving error. I will now simulate the error next time. Let me succeed this time. And then afterwards, change the transaction date and then see it now. Fine, whether you want it. Let me leave it as such. And let me first of all succeed now. Fine. It is now, it is erroring out. So the miscellaneous is it is okay. It will now succeed first and then afterwards, it will now make a check now. So here you go down. You can even populate so many fields now. Fine, you have to So it's a SR maybe thing. And then uh, I don't understand these two things now. Fine. Uh, when I asked my student, he told me, sir, you keep the same for even uh, some thousand lines, the same number, it works, sir. I don't know what exactly the header ID and then the source line ID. Fine. I don't know. Uh, leave it as such now. Fine. Somebody make uh, an argument. No, no. We, we need to refer this in the serial number. Um, I mean, no, I did it last there. year. So Is we need to. Serial number, where is the reference now? Fine. So that ID source, is there. Oh, source, oh line source line ID is there. Yeah. But this template is not showing me anything at all here, is it? Yeah, this, this is, I mean, this is what I, I remember. Right. 
that okay, source okay. line ID. Ah, ah, ah. He is saying that the source line ID has to be referred on the serial number. No? On the lot number, yeah. you have a reference now. The lot number. Yeah, you see the source line ID again. Ah. So he is saying, uh, Karthik is saying that he had to reference the source line ID and then in the lot and serial number. So fine, brother. I am now leaving it as such. No fine, brother. Keep on it. Let me leave it as such and then I do it. No fine, brother. So this is the one. Uh, I am now leaving it and then he had to reference it. What Karthik is saying, he had to reference it in the lot and serial numbers. It there, there. No. Keep on it. So I am now leaving it as such. No. <clears throat> Go there, and then this is the transaction mode. These are all defaults now. Fine system defaults. If you go and then right click on the header now, and then click on edit commands now. Uh, if you edit the command, edit note now. It will show you what exactly. So transaction to be processed in immediate concurrent processing mode or background processing mode. I just leave it now. Fine. Is the, the defaults will be definitely be working now. Fine. They have given a default of three, and then lock lock flag as two. Fine. The, the transaction reference here. I will not make a change. It will be coming on the screen. Fine. I will not say three, two, one now. Fine. That will be coming on our transaction of transaction reference. I given now. Fine. That you want it. And then it's not done. <clears throat> go for the, go for the, go for the. Let's see right here. And the shipment number is not there because I'm not making a miscellaneous receipt now. My shipment number is not there. And then uh, expected arrival date is also not required. <clears throat> Try to populate more and more fields and then see whether you're succeeding or not. That's very, very important. And then uh, whatever errors are coming, you can even keep it as your uh, reference actually. And then here, if you go there, I'm not going to cost the product also. And then it will not do the costing of it. So the transaction cost cost identifier is one. Now fine, I'm going to keep it as such. The transaction cost identifier is one. And we'll keep on. So here, item is not costed. Use current cost no. I'm going to use my cost only. Fine. Do not use the current cost. So use current cost is no. It's okay. And then uh, there is no other flaw. And we'll keep on it. Control S commit. No. Not that. So the one. And then you go to the next one. Fine. Lot. I'm not going to use it. I will not delete both the lines now. Fine. All TD. And then you go to the serial interface. And then here, I'm not deleting it now. So uh, what uh, Karthik is saying that source line ID is a must. That is what he is saying now. Fine. On the previous sheet, you had to put it now. Fine. Before you put the serial numbers, you go to the cost identifier, and then here I will not say the price is two point five. No, I will not make a change. No, fine. The point five. The second line I am deleting. Alright, okay. <clears throat> commit. Fine. Now the template is ready for upload. So go there. Go to this place. And then here. Uh, How about the account? Uh, no? Account is not required. Fine. Account is not required. I don't know. It's not asking for an account. Actually, it's a good question. When you make a miscellaneous visit, is it? Okay, huh? I saw the columns over there. Like distribution ah, 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 ah. The DSP segment, nah? yeah, yeah. The DSP segment are the ones which where you have to put the account now. Maybe it may be picking up from somewhere. Nah? The account is required actually. I don't know why it's not asking for this now. It's not asking for it. They have not also put, and then it may be picking up from someplace. So you are very correct. Who is this? Pradeep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pradeep, uh, your uh, statement is correct now. Fine. If you don't put the account number, it will not be hitting the appropriate accounts fine. So I don't know from where it is picking up. You just see this now fine because it is a very good one. So DSP segment one, segment two onwards, we had to put the account. Yes, I remember it. In one of our projects, uh, people are putting the accounts actually fine, but I am not uh, uh, aware of it. Now, fine, so let us see. It will not. It is succeeding another, for me. Another, but, another huh? question. Uh, another question. This uh, you said cost, right? This is for uh, average costing. It is average costing. This is the organization itself is average costing. Now, so it will be average costing. Okay. No, and uh, okay. Yeah, average, okay. Organization average because cost. for standard cost, we don't put any, uh, don't, don't bring any cost. Uh, I don't know. Fine. I don't know about it. Fine. Make a check because I have no, no the standard cost. Account. We have a separate template. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Here standard costing, cost typically we do the conversion, but average costing, we don't do the cost That's conversion right. as such. It uh -huh. is done as part of the template. You don't do, load it. Nah? Fine. Yeah, so yeah. this portion, fine. From BS onwards, from the column BS onwards, uh, somebody make an R&D and then see if you are putting a different value, whether it is now hitting your accounts or not appropriate in the miscellaneous transaction. Fine. The contra entry to inventory valuation will be this account actually, and I'm not putting it. I don't know from where it is taking up. Fine. Click on it. Click on it. Fine. Click on it. Then go there. And then I will not go there. And then I will not generate the CSV file. And I'm going to generate CSV file. I will not um, go to this place. My area. Go to this place and then I will not go to the fusion. <clears throat> ah, where is the fusion inventory May 20? I will not go to the import now. I will now make it as what EM20 underscore stock EMP. That is the import file. There's a compressed file actually. Fine. Stock IMP. I'm making it now. Fine. Click on save now. So it's not done. Fine. The zip file is created and then after simply close. Do not save anything at all in the main field. Fine. You, you don't create anything because it is now creating some additional uh, sheets over here. So please don't save it. Now. Fine. It does not create an additional, additional sheets like this now. So don't save it. Now. Fine. So simply don't save and then close it now so that you can use the sheet again and again. Now. 
conductive conductor. So it's not done. So we'll now go there and then we will now do this now find conductive conductor. I will now go to this place and then go to the tools and then I go to the schedule to process <coughs> and then run the load interface. The using areas create internal transactions. I will now go for the load interface file. Load interface file. Have no load interface file by import now. Factor one, okay, now. 20 quantities we are going to import now. So we are given an error on the sub unit name. It will now exp it will be coming on the uh, what's called the pending transactions actually. So drop down and then here you choose search for create inventory transactions. Yet if you don't put the proper I press small i, it will not come at all. Right? It is a very big R. Right? You, the C and I are capitals actually. If you put I and V, then it will come. I don't know why they have made this case sensitive actually. It should not be the search should not be case sensitive actually. You should give every result now. Right? So create and then space and then capital I and V is coming fine for that. This is a using area, fine click on it. Okay. And then drop down. And then I will now upload the file directly. I click on it. I will now choose the file <coughs> and then go there. So I will now go to this place, go to the import now. And then here I will now see IMP is a compressed file which you have made now. And click on it, click on open. And then click on it. So by one go, the item comes into the UCM area as well as to the interface area. So first it will now come into the UCM area and then afterwards it will now come into the interface area. <coughs> go there. So it's not running. So wait for it to complete. So the load interface file is now running now. Sir, is there any way by which we can uh, like get to know like which program we have to run for which? Yeah, in the main okay. sheet itself, it will not show you now. Fine. In the main sheet itself, it will not show you. Oh God, it has ended up in the error now. What is the error now? What is the mistake I made now? It will not end up Sub in error. Sub inventory we have given wrongly, right? Intentionally. Oh, but it will not check that now. Fine. It will not check that actually. Okay, we will now try to import it now. Fine. Uh, we will now do an import on some I click on schedule the new process now. I will now go to manage inventory transactions now. Manage percentage, INV percentage, and then bring it to the base tables now. Manage inventory transactions. Click on OK now. I think China processor will be wrong. K99. Oh, child org is also wrong. But yes. uh, while you are bringing it to the interface tables, it doesn't make any validations. Only manage inventory transactions is going to make a validation now. We will now see whether it works or not. It has to trigger, it has to spawn the child concurrent call create inventory transactions. The manage inventory transactions has to spawn the child one, it is not spawning. So that means what? There is a problem while bringing it to the interface table system. What is the problem? I'll go there and then see this now. So there is a problem on this now. You go to the import and then open up that, uh, what's called import item, uh, stock import now. Open it up. Now see what is the error here now. It has not come over here properly. This is okay. The process flag is okay. Uh, 120 IMB test one now. But some other thing is missing here actually. Some other thing is missing. Uh, what exactly is missing here now? So 20 each is one. We given this date as it's not my miscellaneous result. We given everything. So these numbers I kept it as such now. <clears throat> Check that error yeah. code, uh, error log, uh, no, no, sir. We'll now, yeah. we'll now have a look at the error log now. We'll now see what exactly is the error. Now. Any visible errors is there, then we'll now try to correct it actually. Uh, transaction cost identifier is there now. Transaction cost identifier. Apart from that, it doesn't have anything. Use current cost is also no now. Use current cost is no. It's okay. In the lot interface, we don't have anything. And in the ceiling interface, we don't have anything now. And then we put the cost interface. And we have got the price on is item price we are bringing in now. I don't find anything. So we'll now go to this place now. And then I will now try to analyze the error now. We'll now have a look at it. Error. And then click on open it now. <coughs> Save it. Open it up and then so quiet. Oh, so much of it. I don't know how to read it. <clears throat> no page up and then see now. So it says account inventory transactions import, uh, retrieve, and then document fetched actually. Checking if maintenance job is scheduled. Oh, this thing is not coming. Uh, waiting on child process request. Request submitted. 
go there browsing the data files data files are identified copying the counter files replacing the occurrence of the request identifier request identifier okay maybe the yeah, ess job number i think go there submitting a load of job to process flat files interface now waiting for this now i'm pausing 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 identify the product again we top so copying control files replacing the occurrence of the request id writing the control file submitting the job process waiting on chain process now i load file stamp plus processed transaction interface then costing comes in now and that delete on load failure so it is now adding one statement exact that what happens delete from cst incoming transaction cost where a load request could id is so on so on ah, i don't understand this one <clears throat> by, oh, by one more file is there right huh? in the in the that error log it says one more file is there ah uh -huh, uh -huh. so we will now see that file also normally it should uh, in this place two more other thing but connect two more so there okay fine but click on which one i have to see now human transaction csv file is there the log file is that csv file do you want me to see transaction interface file csv is our file i think this is the one this is the csv file now and then click on okay now no open it up okay i have to download now. i will now download the csv file i think on same i think that is uh, oh, this is the our file now thank you mm -hmm. don't forget this is our file this is how it has come up in the internet transactions interface file k99 sub 1 ah, k99 child underscore one it is all correct now you click on that warning file uh, where is the warning now uh, uh, child concurrent huh the, in the child concurrent one of the child concurrent one of the end is a warning now no close this now okay is okay you go there <clears throat> this is a lock file this is interface file and this is a cost interface file there is no warning at all no 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 uh, click on cancel cancel one of the child concurrent is a warning ah uh -huh. one of the child concurrent load interface file is a warning okay this one you know say there is a the warning there no they don't know how the warning file oh god this is too much what's <clears throat> it and then open up the file now so i now go for uh, control and then paste it over here now so the total logical reports find total logical report rejected is all fine what is the reason for the rejection come on tell me here zero row successful one row not valid due to data errors now If it says data error, also it will be nice, na. Two values are too large. Yeah, that's one. Uh, record rejected. You know, does it call in transaction UOM? Ah, uh, UOM. How come it is? That is supposed hours? to be. That is supposed to be each year. Year. Capital E, small E. No, in the system we are seeing now, it is a capital E. Uh, no, that is a name. It U always takes the code. No, the, it always. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. There is a U M name, ma. I was. Yeah, even I got the same error when I am loading. Suspecting items, actually, also. like ah, when I. One second, one second. You know, go on and see. And the you know, you know, some errors is there. No, you know that. So there is a name, and then there is not the code. You are saying now, fine. Well, click on it. So I will now right click and then uh, duplicate. Now, fine. Click on duplicate. It is normally good. Well, check at it that, that, uh, while you are bringing to the interface tables. Now, fine. But that is not seeking. Come on, yes. Sir. No, I think the way it is being done, it, I think it's the right way. Ah, uh, I click on it now. It is supposed to for diagnostic purpose. This is how it. Ah, uh -huh. manage unit and then measures. No, yes, measures. Units of measures. No, uh, manage units of measures. <clears throat> so manage units of measures. You go there. I will now query the each now. Now see. What exactly? E C H and then uh, click on search now. Find the code. Maybe E. Now you are saying. So go there. Oh God, the code is capital E. Capital E. Come on, beautiful. The name is one. So maybe if I give it as capital E, capital E, it will work. I think. Fine. Good. We'll now see this. Now. Yeah. So go to the main transaction area. So come home page now. Good. So I now go to the main inventory transactions area. <clears throat> Your home now. This one. Is that capital E? Capital E. That is what you are saying, man. Come it. We'll now again bring it. Come it. Come it. I'll now go to the main area and then go there and then do it now. Stop the board. Come it. So I'll now bring it to my area. Go to this place and then here uh, I will now go to fusion. There. You go to the import and then here I will now say M twenty stock. 
EMP2, no? You don't put enough click on save, no? Now save time, close the file without doing anything. Okay? Don't save it. And then you go there, go to the place and then, you know, uh, go to the monitor process and then load the interface file. No? Uh, I don't know. Interface file for import, no? Click on, click on, click on. There is no batch number and things required for the stock import actually. But the account may be required. I'm not picking up from some place. I don't know where exactly there's no money. I see my people putting the accounts also. It is a create INB from search now. This is a UZM area. And then bring our file over here. Click on the upload file. And choose a file. And choose the stock import. Or click on open and then click on OK now. And then this time, Muruga, I'm submitting it now. So refresh it now. I don't want the error now. Normally, during uh, bringing it to the interface tables, it doesn't check the data actually. Here it is checking the data. It will it's check, check uh, the... no, because sub inventory uh, is also something we haven't passed correctly, right? Uh, sub inventory didn't give in there. Right? Sub inventory will check it the basic validation. No, no, not basic about validation. the data. It is uh, we, we, you are inserting the values into the uh, interface table, right? Uh, the columns, validation, standard validations, whatever. Uh, 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 uh. So it's saying that some uh, some validation is doing in offhand. So now it has got succeeded now. Fine, good, good, good. Fine, go there. Now we'll now run the uh, import into the base tables now. Fine, go there. Go to the manage inventory, manage inventory transactions. Manage inventory and then give a tab now. Manage inventory transactions. Fine, go there. Go this is now going to bring it from the interface table to the base tables now. And then this will be spawning a concurrent call create trans inventory transactions. You remember, you should not run it manually. This has to spawn the create inventory transactions. Fine, click on submit now. So it's not having any parameters now. Fine, click on submit. This has to spawn automatically. Then only it will work properly. The manage inventory transactions has to spawn the thing. Fine, go there. Click on it. Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> yeah, so Pradeep, in this case, we had given TA, it would have passed and then it would have failed at the second stage. <laughs> yeah, go there. Go. Come on, come on, come on. The next transaction, create inventory transaction has come. Vandichi. You got it. So, no running. So, here it will not fail now because of the. So it's going to fail now. Fine, go there, click on it. I will now go on and have a look at the uh, what's called the failure over here. Now fine, click on it. Now have a look at it. And go there, click on it. I will now go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. Here it will now fail. So it will be coming on the pending inventory and pending transactions. Now fine, go there, click on it. You will now go to what manage pending transactions. Here you can see this. Now. Go there, click on it. There is already one error. Fine, click on it. Click on it. So there is error now. So if you click on the uh, total or view pending transactions, so click on the view pending transactions. It will not show you the error now. Go there. So what is the item now? Item is M twenty underscore. IMP and then give a tab now. I will not choose a test one of click on OK now. And then click on search now. It will not show you the error. So you can see this is the error now. Fine, go there. So I will now select the line and then click on edit now. Fine, it shows you the value provided for the attribute sub inventory code is invalid. So it is now clearly showing you. Fine, go there. So select and then click on edit now. So the B pending lessons will come now. So is what is the here? This is not correct actually. K99 sub one is not correct actually. Fine, go there. So we will now make a change and then we will now submit. A reference number is also come over here now. Fine, go there. The remaining everything is okay. So here, how come the quantity is two now? Yeah, 20 each and two each. What is the problem? That's from I have given two quantities, two places I'm giving no, a quantity. No, 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 I, I saw that in the Excel. If you go, I think one place you are given two. Ah, uh, tell me, tell me, you should have told yes, me. Sir, primary quantity. You go uh, after some time, uh, right towards right. I saw oh, some oh, two. Oh, 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 primary oh, oh. quantity, something else. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, see, see. Go, 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 this one. No, 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 no. now left, left. Here itself, there's a primary quantity. Yeah? Uh, uh, ah, this is a problem. I have not watched it. Fine. Who is this? Babu. Babu, huh? Uh. Babu, you better stand up on the bench. Oh, you didn't <laughs> correct me. <laughs> I was making a mistake. <laughs> oh, I purposely didn't tell that. I also wanted to check that. <laughs> this guy is an intelligent guy. He's saying purposely has not told me. Fine, go back to So let me correct it now, sir. Let me correct both of them to two now. Fine, go back. So that's fine. I'm not correcting both of them too. And then this also I will not correct it. Fine, we'll click on it. So give, give a correct now, fine, drop it. And then I will not correct it to what? Okay, 991 now, fine. Both the things are correct actually. And give a save now. And then here we will now again push it into the interface tables now. We had to again push it. So these two errors are corrected. Fine, go there, go to the actions. And then here, whatever we go there, drop it down. And then add to process schedule. This will be again be putting it in back into the interface tables now. And click on add to process schedule. So go there. So it is now added now. Fine. It is now going to process. It will now bring it back to the interface tables now. Click on that side now. So it will now bring back to the interface tables now. So now we will again run the concurrent. Click on it. So this is now 
whatever the credit transaction is now succeeded but it is not a real success fine was i click on it it no saying the process is succeeded but the operation operation success the patient died like that whatever like that go the click on this now it not show you the error also i think now go to the import now click on it you know how look at the import this will be giving error now you click on it so the process selected for processing is one now so you can even view on a what's called a sort of format a word wrap is there like that so it is selected for processing is one but successfully processed is zero in error is one so that way it is now giving and we will not run it again now we will not run it again we'll go there so let us now schedule the new process then again run the manage inventory transactions for bringing it to the base table is not fine one concurrent i click on submit now we do it <coughs> click on okay now so it is not going to run now so this time also it will not succeed actually but this time you will not have the there will be no errors actually so in this place it is checking the um code actually fine i have given the um name that is wrong so we have learned one thing that we had to give a um code actually that is why i always keep the code and name same now in my implementation people give a different different code and different different name they get confused actually and that is not a correct way when you are creating the ums please always give the code and name same now, so that you won't fail at all But you 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 should have used the Oracle serial, right? Most of the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in reality, it won't be, na. I mean, in reality, it won't be. So. No, in reality, it's the same, na, no, sir. Each E and then E S E H name. Code is E. I think code will have you, some limitation, oh, right? One of my students has done a very complex implementation on UOM. Bob, yeah, you make it. I think uh, your yeah, student made everything is uh, customized. I think. Mm, everything he customized. Just, he was working he for a food industry. Zero. And then all yeah. the units of metal are customized actually. And then he has got plenty of things now. He he had a he was discussing with the customer for more than three weeks actually. Finally decided about the units of metal. He learned it from me and then he learned a lot afterwards now. And he says that sir, I can do even wonders on this now. So processing is one successfully process is one now. You now coming and click on okay now. You now go there and then see on the pending transaction anything still pending or not. And click on it. No, see whether anything still pending. I go there. Click on search now. Nothing will be pending over here. And nothing is pending here now. Click on that now. You now go and then have a look at the stock now. Click on that now. You now have a look at the stock. <coughs> you go there. Go to this place. And then you go to the inventory management. You now have a look at the stock. Good that whatever the people are able to correct now. Fine. Go there. Click on. So manage item quantity is the one. So it is now two now. Fine. Am twenty underscore imp. And what happened? It is a test one now. The stock must be two now. So two stock is one two. So we are correct in both the places actually. So the stock is now shown as two. Now we will now push it to the costing and then see whether it is getting costed or not. We are given a cost of two point five. Now click on that now. So we will now go there. We will now push it to the costing. I am going to click on it. So for pushing it, what happens? What are the concurrent here? Uh, I forgot on that now. <clears throat> you have to push it from the inventory to costing now. Yeah. Uh, transfer transactions to from inventory to costing. So transfer transactions from inventory to costing is the one. I am going to click on it. So what I'm going to push it in the costing area. Go there. Cost organization is a. Uh, no, no, sir. Can you check cost. what account it got hit? Ah, how to do? How to see this? No, fine. Go there. Click on the manager. The completed transaction you can see. Oh, the completed transaction. But I think uh, that's what I wanted to check. But I think let's check after pushing this. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Go there. I will now go to the after completed, after uh, doing this review process. Review completed transactions. Now, fine. You will now see what the account it is hitting now. Sir. Good, good question now. Em twenty underscore imp underscore ah test one na huh? is a test one. I can click on okay now. And then see for the today's date. Click on search now. You now see what the account is hitting actually. Ah, completed transaction is not coming, so it has. No, no, the date was some 2015 or something. Remember right? the date, I think. No, no, sir. Date is not. The oh, transaction date was. You gave some something on. Okay, I will now put 11 here now. Fine, brother. 11th year to 20th year. Fine, brother. Uh, it was a bought bought it. Fine, brother. Click on it. So yeah, man. So we will not do a, what's called yeah. We will not change the change the date and then also do it now. Fine. So That's it's not showing yeah. now. View and then the columns. Fine. Any account column is there? Yeah, the account is account there. Account it's is not. There. It's, it's not. There. It's there is a blank. You click okay. on the transaction ID and then see and go there. So here in the transaction ID, is there any accounts here now? The account is blank. Come on, yeah. I don't understand this. One. But I have seen my people. I have seen one of my students' worksheet, and then uh, he has given the account. Yes, I remember it actually. He has given the account actually, but without account also is working. Come on, where exactly is putting it? So there is a lab exercise. Somebody told me which account it is hitting now. Fine, I am not aware of it. Now let us now go there and then push it to the costing now. Fine, click on it. So I have forgot the cost or name. Fine, click on search now. It's uh, starting something on the K nine nine, and then I give a search now. Fine, yeah, this is a cost or name. 
click on the cost of cost of name is okay fine because i click on it i will not push it over there fine click on submit now it'll be going to the costing area click on so it's not going to be cost right now i given a two point fake cost isn't it transfer transactions the one so it's not running and then it'll not right click and then duplicate and then it'll not go there and then try to process the cost there so click on it you go to the supply chain execution and then you go to the cost accounting directly fine receipt accounting will be coming in purchasing fine cost accounting is for all the inventory transactions like miscellaneous receipts miscellaneous issues intra transfers in transit and then your uh, uh, what's called your uh, receipts via uh, supplier uh, and then the rma all these things will be coming on the cost accounting that will be only for the purchase orders not fine click on it. anything which is getting the hit that will be coming in the hitting in the receipt account i go there so click on the create cost accounting distributions i'm going to do it now I will not say K99. There will be some. Uh, I'm suspecting the account distribution should get created after doing this process. Ah, okay, okay. So I will not put up the cutoff date to a future date now. Actually, so this date has to be future date. Fine, go there. Otherwise, it will not pick up at all. So what is today's date? Is 24th now. Fine, go there. I will not make it as what uh, it is a sixth month, isn't it? Fine, sixth month, and I will not put as 25 now. So anyway, so it must be generally this transaction will be picked down. Fine, give us save now. And then we'll now go on and see whether it is now succeeded or not. Transfer transaction will not be costing. So it has succeeded. We'll go there and then here we'll now click the create accounting and click on save now. We'll now run the schedule process. Now run the schedule process. Fine. Click on submit. We're not asking any parameters actually. Fine. Click on submit. So we are now running the run control now. Fine. Run control with all the things enabled actually. So we'll go there. It takes around approximately two minutes now. Is there any other way where we can uh, see the account number because uh, manage the completed transaction is not showing in account number at all. If any other place, what I mean, can I see this? You go to this place and then you know, fine. Give us even close and then you know, try to review the cost. Now, fine, click on it. You know, go to the review item cost now. <clears throat> so the item number is M twenty underscore IMP underscore test to one. Isn't it? This is the item. Now. They should have given a list of value over here. Now, when you're writing it, you may even make a mistake. Actually, fine, click on such. It has to come as two point. It has to come as two point. So the computer is still running now. In the meantime, we'll now go and then correct this error now. Fine, click on it. We will now make a change of the date actually. Fine, go there, click on it. We'll now make a change of the date now. Go there. We'll now give a change of the date. And because I faced the problem on the date now, because the system's preferences may not be proper now. Fine, I will now go to the edit mode now. Fine, I will now correct here directly. It is one fifteen now. So it must be what? I will now say twenty uh, fourth, isn't it? Fine, go there. So fifteenth uh, is a date, I think. Fine, go there. I will now make it as twenty fourth now. And then this is a month actually. If I make a change to month, now fine. Go there. Click on it. I will not do it now. We will not see whether it works or not. Fine. Go there. Click on it. But so, year is two thousand twenty right now, sir. So. Oh, <laughs> year is two thousand twenty. Fine. Delete twenty and then go there. And then ma'am, uh, uh, ma'am, ma'am, one now? second. Ah. Can you go to the <coughs> sorry? Can you go to the first sheet one because. I think all this that date now format will be different. Ah, that's the reason that it is now giving error now. I think DD something. If you go to the first sheet, it says. This is the first sheet. No, this is the first sheet. No, no, no. That instruction sheet. Instruction sheet. Okay, fine. Go there. There, I saw DD some some format. That is some. That is something on the format. I know that. That is the reason that what happens is not coming. Fine. Go there. Have a look at it. Fine. Let's check the columns comments also, Nana. Comments call. Uh, yes, yes, that is also there. Uh, Correct. So these two uh, things see, you can yeah, put in the yeah, cost yeah. actually. See, is there? Why, 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 why? Somewhere I saw just now. Oh, where is it? I just now saw why, why. D D M. Just to put the control F one, you can search now. Little go up, little go up, little little. Uh, yeah, see, see, is there? Part. Why, why? The date DD. must be entered as why, 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 uh, why? M M D D format. Okay. Why? Why? M M D D. Fine, go there. Click on it. So that may be the reason. Fine, go there. Click on it. Yeah, it, I think it changed. No, no. M M D D. Yes, it's correct now. Fine. See, it is now why? 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 M M D D only. It is exactly as per this format only. Why? 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 And do you need to remove the time zero zero dot zero zero? No, you can remove it. Shall we remove the time or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can remove it. I don't think it's. Yeah, that is not required. That is. Maybe causing the problem or what? Oh. Yeah, maybe this is causing the problem. Oh, it's automatically putting it here. Oh, come on. This is a date. Now you have to right click. Right. Now you have to right click right it and format. Right. right click and format. 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 And then whatever they go there. Yeah. And then they make a change just, to only date now. Fine, go there. Yeah. Date format now. And then here I will now put the sample like this. Fine, go there. This is the one. Fine, click on okay now. No, you have to put a why why why. And then it now. Fine, go there. So what is the format is asking for now? Fine, go there. Why 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 M M D D? So we will not change it. Why why uh, why M M D? 
Yeah. And format. Uh, and then you know, see Y M N D. My God, where is the format? Year and then date. Third one, na? The third one, na? Uh, uh, 2012 something. Uh, year. Oh, but uh, year uh, is coming. But that is dash. It's actually dash. Na fine. That is in this dash. Come down, na? No, no, sir. Oh. You just prefix with the apostrophe and put any format you want. It will get into text format. <laughs> you get texted, na? Fine. Yeah. Uh, Okay, anyhow, we'll not try to do this now in this way. Otherwise, they'll not leave it as a lab access now. So, yeah, I want a year first, actually. We'll not no, no, it's actually. custom. It will be custom. No, no. Okay, the, okay. the number format uh, will be custom. Uh, number <clears throat> format has to be custom. Huh? Go, to the, go to the format cells. The number. Format. Yeah, custom. on the left. On the left. No, on the left, it will be custom, yeah. you're saying. Huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, here you just type it. Ah, uh, uh, MMDD is enough. This one will not choose it. Okay. So, we'll not choose this one. Okay. So it's not showing something. We'll not see whether it works or not. Otherwise, I will not leave it as a lab access. No, 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 this is a wrong format. No, no. no this is a wrong. Yeah, you have to put a backslash. Slash, slash, right? slash, slash, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It is coming as a slash, slash. No, no, because your 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 format itself was wrong, no, no. So go go to the format right. Okay, again format, huh? Okay. I will now go to the again format now. Uh, go there. Right click on the format cells now. <clears throat> yeah. Custom and then what yeah. format I do now. No, that's not the yeah. Two two values up. Y Y Y Y Y slash slash. Yeah, about this that. One, okay. Why yeah, yeah. mm did Okay, fine. Good. Mm, good. It's not coming exactly. Good. 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 This one. So go there. I will not correct it. What the seven is uh, now six now. Fine. Seven is six now. This is uh, twenty four now, and then this is uh, twenty twenty. It's fine. Twenty twenty. Fine. Go there. Click on enter now. Ah, it is coming perfectly. Fine. Go there. Click on. So the custom format we now we now go on and import it. In the meantime, what happens? Now go on and have a look at the cost now. Fine, we'll now go to the cost and then have a look at it. So we'll now, <coughs> we'll now go to the review item cost and then make a search and find whether now see is now succeed. Yes, we have succeeded. So we have succeeded in bringing the cost also. Now this import we will not try. Okay, fine. We'll now go on and try the import now with this one. The, the date is coming or not? Fine, with that. So this I was failing miserably. Actually, fine, with that. I will now save it and then here I go there. And then click on again another 20 quantities with the same cost. I will not go there. Click on generate CSV file. <clears throat> so I will now say M20 underscore IM stock. No, uh, no, sir. Do you want to correct that uh, sub inventory also? Now you want to correct oh. <laughs> Yes, you correct. That is not correct the sub inventory because that error we already seen now. I know how to correct it now. So click on it. It is not correct the sub inventory. You click on M now. So go there. <clears throat> Go to this place now and click on no correct the submetry now. Submetry error will not correct it. Go to query and then you now say one now. Click on it, will not correct it. So this is not corrected, fine. Go to the place now. Only errors that must be in the date format now. Fine. Click on it. Why it's coming like this? Yeah, come on, close it. Child is also wrong. Child inventory wrong. Ah, uh, child inventory always okay, now. Now go there. Go there. So you want then go there. What the uh, yes, the child one is okay. That is we already correct. We don't have any. Error. So here sub event is also okay. I know that. So the date format will now have a look at it now. Fine. So the date format is also okay. Fine. Everything is okay. Twenty each is okay. Fine. We'll now go there and then we'll now do it. Now we'll click on generate CSV files. Oh, why is something this time? The name is already taken now. No, sir. If you save the file once after the CSV generated, this error will come. What happened? You want to rename it? No, you want to use new file. Oh, oh, I might have saved it along. Yeah, I got it. I got it. So you see, I might have saved it with the information of fine brother. So it creates more and more this one of fine. The running ones you have to delete now. Fine, I saved it. So this sheet has to be deleted now. I should not have saved it actually. I have to delete this sheet. Fine, click on delete now. And then these sheets should not have saved. Anything which is running without this hyphen, what happens? They should be deleted actually. That is the reason. Yes, very correct. Who is this? Correct. Dinesh. Dinesh, fine. He has now corrected only. So there should not be any excess sheets upon the forum. System creates additional sheets that should not be there at all. Fine. That is what click on. So you know that. Click on it. I will now go M20 underscore MP underscore. Uh, it's a stock three, isn't it? Fine. Stock uh, stock underscore three. Something like that I'm giving now. Click on it. I will now go to my area and then go there. Fusion. That is why when many people work upon now, we can easily identify the errors actually. M20 stock import 3. Click on save now. And we'll see whether it comes or not. Right. The file name used is already existing. Come on, where is it here? 
do you want to replace it? Well, now give yes now. Zip file is created. Now close this now. Don't save. And then now go there. In three, it has replaced it. Fine. I didn't. I did uh, in three also, or I don't know. And go click on it. So let us use it now. Fine. Twenty four ten and then eight twenty two a.m. So it has been recently replaced. Okay, fine. Well, now use the stock three for it. Let's click on it. Now go there. You go to the manage, and then you go to the spam, and now go to the load interface file for you. Load interface, and then you tap now. So load interface file for you. Fine. Click on okay now. <coughs> you now choose our. Uh, UCM area is created when the transactions on. And then uh, uh, Pradeep was saying that whether the, after the cost is not done, whether the accounting is coming or not, fine. Uh, we want to see where exactly Pradeep, uh, how to see the accounting and the same, the same the review accounting computer. transaction. Yeah, check the completed transaction. Uh -huh. Check the completed transaction. Now see, now fine. It will be coming there. Now fine, check on it. We'll now go to the inventory management and then see this account. These are all important things we feel now, fine. Because the financials will shout like anything if you don't put the proper account on this now. So go to this place and now go to the what's called complete manage completed transaction now. Uh, review completed transactions and then query it now. So item is M20 underscore. <coughs> let us know in the meantime, let us now submit it now. Let us now submit this kind of data now. Click on search now. Go there. So it's a create NB <coughs> and then click on search now. Okay, one extra G is there. Click on search now, it will be coming. So go there, click on OK now, and then we'll now submit it. Data file, I'm going to put it now. So click on upload, and then is the stock import 3 now? I will now put the stock import there at 822. Click on open now. I think there's more written it, I think probably. I click on submit now. We'll see whether it comes with the transactional date. So in the meantime, what happens? We go there. What are you doing? M20 underscore IMP underscore test 1 now. Fine, we'll click on search now. we we'll now see if the account is coming or not. Ah, here again, I'll now put it at 11 now. And then I click on search now. So we're not showing you the transaction date is what? 1 15 12 now. Fine. Okay, the, the older date is not showing you. Okay, it's okay. But the account is not coming. If you click on the transaction number also, the account come on here. Where from it has taken the account? Without account, it's not going inside. So there is a lab exercise for you. The only advantage in the training is what? If something is not working, we can give it to the lab exercise. Whereas the customer's location, you cannot do it now. <laughs> you have to correct all the errors actually. I couldn't understand something. Click on the note. Find out somebody finds out, please tell me. Find out that click on it. We'll now go to the monitor process and have a look at whether it is all succeeding or not. Find out that click on it. We'll now see it has got succeeded fully. Good, good, good. So it has now succeeded. All things are succeeded. We'll now run the bring it to the base tables now. Find out that click on it. I will now go to the manage <coughs> uh, inventory transactions. What have now? Manage inventory transactions. We'll go there. Click on looking. Okay, so it's not having any parameters actually. And then click on submit. It will be spawning the concurrent create inventory transactions. Remember, when you run it manually, the create inventory transaction will not work at all. The manage inventory transactions has to spawn. <clears throat> it will be spawning the concurrent, child concurrent. So then only it will work actually. <clears throat> Don't run it manually. This you don't run manually, it will not work at all. Then now got completed and go there, click on it. We'll now go to the review completed transaction again and then we'll now search on this now. Fine. There'll be one more record. The date we want to see now. Fine. Click on search now. We'll now see the date now. The second container now there. So it is not showing me here at all. Come on. Why it's so? Uh, from uh, can, to can, can you check in pending also, sir? Oh God. Anything is pending. <laughs> it has got. Oh, now it's coming. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Fine. Date is coming. Excellent. Fantastic. <coughs> So remember about the format of the date now. Fine, it's an excellent one. Fine, many people have uh, jointly participated, and then we have succeeded. Fine, we give a clap for all of us. <laughs> Good. So we have completed this <coughs> stock import now. So we made a uh, mis mistake on the each code and the the thing are different actually. Fine, please don't do it. Fine, always keep the code and name same so that you won't make any mistake at all. Fine, that is one thing. And then another thing is what the date format. If you do it. Yeah, sir. Why the transaction date? I mean, both are same. Why uh, the timing? Time is same for both of them. We have done it. Uh, time, I don't know. Somebody okay. is, before uh, you make an order, timing. timing no, it is UTC timing. But it won't be exactly five thirty. Now they are all done in different timings actually. Na why it's uh, putting a constant timing over there? That is what is reverse question. Is it is not putting a constant time of five thirty. Fine. Maybe we, uh, what happens? The import accept, accepts only that format. Now fine. MMMM. Uh, uh, why, 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 MMDD. That is the format it is accepting it actually. And then uh, try to make an R&D at the time also. Right? And then see whether you can give it or not. Good then, we have completed the stock import by which what happens, we have completed the training. <coughs> now, let us go there. <coughs> and then I will now go a rapid implementation. <coughs> I will now show you. 
Any doubts on this now? <coughs> Anything else you want to discuss on this now? No, sir. What is the difference between the transaction quantity and primary quantity? The transaction quantity can be different now. Fine. Let us say the primary quantity is in dozen, and then you have transacted on seven each actually. So the transaction quantity will be seven each, and then the primary quantity is in dozen. It will now convert and then show it to you. It will always report the stock on the primary units of matters, and then it will also report on the transacted units of matters also. You watch my UAM records now. It will now teach you everything. But it should be there already. A conversion factor should be there, right? I mean, conversion I factors are there. Without a conversion factor, yeah. it will not work at all. But I mean, why do we need to uh, uh, give the both the things? If it's already conversion a factor See, in place, you are right? receiving seven each. You know, but system will report only on the primary units of matters. That is the stock keeping units of matters. So SKU is dozen means what? It will now convert and then show you how much of dozens you have. But in addition, it will also show you the transactional units of matters. Also. Good then, fine. <coughs> so we have succeeded on the stock import with the costing also. <coughs> And then that, that information you try to find out. Because one of my students told me, what is this here, that number? Uh, he's saying, uh, oh yeah, Karthi SLD told. When you're doing the serial lot numbers, what happens? You have to put the header ID in line. And you want that. And that's what he SLD told me. So you can use that number when you're using the serial lot transactions. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to locate the files I did la from last year, Nana, and then I'll send it on the group so that okay. we can use it as a format. Now we go for rapid implementation. But the HCM team and then my team also is not at all comfortable on this one. They say we don't want it actually. Fine. Because of some problems, they are saying, no, I don't know what are the problems. I know that. Let me go to ZKVD and then do it now. ZKVD. The, I have seen seven implementations, but none of them, uh, the people are coming. They only do chart of accounts. Chart of accounts, they upload via the rapid implementation, but not everywhere. So go there. Click on ZKVD, let me log in now. And then I will not go there. Go inside. I will not do the rapid implementation on this one. <clears throat> so here I will now go there and take it up now. Find where I click on it. I will now go to this place. I will now uh, uh, you will now go there. Click on it. I will now go to Fusion Multi, and then you go to the uh, what's called records, and then go to the extra docs. Remember, all of you will be removed. The access to all the folders will be removed on third of July. Please download everything now. So we have got thirty five, and then uh, the thirty six also has come now. Find where I click on it. Orders. So it will download all these things. Find where I click on it. So here we have a document. So we have a rapid implementation worksheet. Now. I will now open up the Fusion OM worksheet now. So in which I will now do some steps. So you know, fine with that. I will now do uh, the remaining. I'm not going to. I will now do five, fifth step, sixth step, seventh step now. Fine, and then uh, eighth, and then ninth. Right. So five to nine, I'm going to do it now in this class. I will now do these these things over there now. So this is my complete OM worksheet now. Fine. I'm expecting it uh, from four to five weeks approximately. And then this is having a deficiency on uh, with the business rules, the pricing algorithms, and then uh, your uh, transformation rules, and then extensions, etc. etc. I'm not aware. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't understand it actually. Uh, I will be demonstrating it to you the, how difficult I found it. Now. When I talk to the technical, they say, You tell us, we will now give you everything, whatever you want. Now. So it's a very tough one on the advanced concepts of OEM actually. Anyway, the basics, you will be very strong. Once when you complete it, you will be strong on the basics actually. And that is what does. So go there, and then I will now go the fifth one now. Fine. So we are now going to create a zip file for this now. First of all, for both chart of accounts as well as ledger and all. I will now open up find the orders. I will now open up this sheet also. Fine. Go there. Click on. I will now open up the rapid implementation. Forty seventh one I am opening it up. So forty seventh one I am opening it up. Go there. So here my friend has customized this now. He has put these buttons over here now. Fine. Otherwise, if you see Oracle's one, it will be coming like this only. It is coming like this only. Find the rapid implementation. For general ledger, fine. It has got all the things. He has customized everything, and then he, has, he can use this file also very well. It will definitely work. So first of all, we will not change it now. Fine. Many people are going to work upon, so I will not make a change now. Fine. I will not make it as X zero one now. So I will not make it as what X zero one, X zero one in US. So on this name, the system will be creating a chart of accounts, the calendar as well as a ledger. Now the chart of accounts will be validated also. It will be deployed also. It will be creating it and then deploying it. No need to deploy at all. The COA will be deployed and then coming. The calendar will be also be automatically created. So I am not giving a fiscal year of start of 1119, 2019, but it creates the 2020 calendar also automatically. The 2020 calendar also is created. The ledger also will be on X, X01 US. You make a modification of the name and then do it. And then he has uh, demand, made a, a four segmental chart of accounts. Now, you can even go for more also. Fine. Go for more also, but everywhere you have to modify. Remember, if you go for more or less, you have to modify everywhere. He is not done. I, go there. I will not go to the business units now. I go there. I will not make a change to the business unit. I will not make it as a X now. <clears throat> and here, go there. 
go there, click on it, and then let me go there. <coughs> and then come it. There's no save. And then afterwards, you go to the next one now. And here, also, what happens? Wherever A is coming, I will now make a change to X now. To the home, and then make it as X now. Some or other financials don't like it actually in the implementation area. For testing purposes, it's okay, they're saying. But uh, for a customer implementation, we would like to have every manual value. So they say it takes some time. It doesn't matter. Fine. Uh, we have plenty of time for it. And then we can never do it manually. That's what they're saying. Uh, and he, uh, CM team hates it now, actually, because it creates everything on a common set now. Fine. Oh, God. It's now creating everything on a common set. Yeah, I don't like it. Now. <laughs> the business unit is now getting created on a common set. Now. <clears throat> they should have modified. Now, they should have put a value for the business unit also. That, 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 that set name, they should have put it now. That they have not done it. Right. Now you're making it, it must be meaningful and then it must be useful for everybody. Then some team is not accepting it. Right. I know made everything as X1 now, find XXX. I changed it now. And go there, click on it. So here also everything is X now, find go there. Go to the, this is the one, three sheets only you have to do it now, find click on. You have to make a change only on the first three sheets now. The remaining natural accounts, uh, the, uh, the company, uh, the, the uh, financial team has already populated. He has populated everything now. All the natural accounts he has populated. Don't touch anything on this now. You go to the financial sequences. Here also, don't touch anything. If you know, you can touch. Fine, go to the department. And then here also, if you know, you can do it now. They made a hierarchical department actually. So the first three sheets only you have to do it now. Fine, go there, click on Excel now. Business unit and then this one. When you are testing it actually. So now you go there. Having done this, what happens? You go there and then give a save. Now click on validate. You're going to validate whatever changes you have made now. Fine, click on validate. It will be saying whether validation is passing or not. Validation is successful now. So no need. Fine. Do you want to uh, what happens? A review? I will not say no, no. Do you want to preview the sample reports? I don't want it given no, no. Now I will now create this one. Fine, so generate chart of accounts. I'm going to create. Fine, click on it. I will not generate the chart of accounts. So I'm not going to generate the fields. I will not say x01 underscore coa. I'm going to generate. I'm going to click on it. I will not keep it on my directive only. On it. Go there. And then go there. <sighs> Open it up and then I will know over there. It's called import area and then I will know the X01 CO X on save now. So it is not done. The next one is what I had to generate the next one. If I click on generate, if I click on generate ledger, ledger LEBU. Fine, you're going to generate. If you click on it. I will not say over there. <coughs> I will not say X01. Uh, fine. It is a LED uh, BU and then accept or something. LED BU and no making. So LED BU is the one. I click on save. I'm saving it. That's it. The activity on the sheet is now complete. In reality, you have to put all the public. So what the financial team is doing, they will not put all the chart of accounts and then do only the first activity. They will not only do this. They don't do this now because they here they don't like it actually. Many people do not like it. So they will not do this. Now. So it's not done. Fine, close it. <clears throat> so don't save. I will not leave it as a Now, the first activity, the fifth activity is now completed. Create the zip files is now completed. I will not go for this rapid implementation. I will not go to the task and then upload the chart of accounts. Take a copy of it. I will not upload the chart of accounts. You will not go to this place <clears throat> and then you will not upload the chart of accounts. Go to the setup and maintenance. Click on search. And then I will not paste this content. Click on upload chart of accounts. The one. So click on it. Upload chart of accounts. And then click on choose file. I will not choose my file. The import. But I want to say X01 is there. X01 COA, I'm going to wait. Click on open and then click on submit. It creates a chart of accounts, it validates it, it deploys it, everything it does now. In one go. So that is the advantage. There, here they use it. In this place they use it. The one which they are using it. It goes to the thing. They use it to a great extent. So it runs around two concurrents or three concurrents. I'm not sure about it. So it will not take around approximately two minutes to do it. The upload interface structure. It will be doing it. And remember, it creates the business unit on the common set now. And then uh, that uh, the, uh, is the human capital management team do not like at all. They don't like common sets. They want to have whatever. Otherwise, whatever they have to go to the assigned business unit, set assignments, and then make a change on each and everything. <coughs> so that way it works now. So it's not running. Then the next concurrent is what? The other concurrent. That's it. Run it and then your chart of accounts, your business unit, your ledger, legal entity, and then it creates the common options as well as it creates the system options in uh, receivables actually. It creates the system options also in receivables. So everything it creates everything automatically. Many top level uh, entities are automatically created by this, by this concurrent. But uh, some or other, uh, uh, they don't have a liking of this. Fine. They would like to have their own naming section. Previously, it used to even create uh, what happens, uh, divisions also automatically. 
but I think now divisions are not getting created, so they have modified it. But Oracle has to still improvise it and then uh, change the common set actually. And that is one big thing which uh, people hate it actually. The second concurrent they don't. First concurrent they use it now, and, but second concurrent they don't use it actually. So it takes around two to three minutes now. So once when it is completed. It'll be able so, to see. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Uh, can we create like in you know, inventory org, sub inventory? Yeah, yeah. inventory org, another thing you like have to create. You cannot create through rapid implementation. You know what? Rapid implementation is only for financials. Oracle split module is financials, and so what happens that they have developed it for inventory org, they don't have any rapid implementation. You only have to manually create it actually. They give a step motherly treatment for inventory, supply chain actually. Hmm. So for, uh, from where do you will download this uh, reference sheet? Uh, it will be available somewhere in the place. Okay? I am not sure about it. Docs. But this sheet is now uh, popular with more, more buttons also. So that will be more useful for you. <laughs> go there, click on it. I will now go to the general ledger now. Go there, click on it. How about the general ledger? Now? Where is the general ledger? Financials. Sorry. You go to the financials now. The financials. I will now use 20 minutes of time. I will go to the books now. I click on the books. And then go there. Go to the development now. No idea where from he has done it actually. I click on the mode here. And then here, here to see. The financial common module. You know, see, there is a, is a rapid implementation has to come up. And not coming here now. General ledger is there. Fine. Click on it. Expand it. Import account combinations. Import general budget. Import hierarchies. Import calendar. Fine. General import. So where it is there? I'm not sure about it. You go to the uh, meta link and then make a search on this and for rapid implementation for general ledger. So it will not show you payables or payments. Sub ledger accounting is a different one. I think in the uh, GL task itself, it will be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perspective. No, because that uh, sheet is coming now. Yeah, yeah, that's what. See, I have done for uh, EB tax means uh, tax uh -huh. module uh -huh. where we go to the tax regime. There you have something called the uh, for rapid, rapid implementation, implementation. Uh, in that you can download it. that sheet and then they can do it that's what i'm saying yes you can download it as well so in the gl area it may be available it may be available here also i'm not sure about it so make a check of it i will not uh, do it now fine so, so three concurrents are gone fine. everything has succeeded actually upload all three is complete now fine. so once when this is completed you go there you go to the next one now fine. click on it now go to the next one so you know next one is what this is the concurrent now take copy it Will not run the concurrent now. It's not a concurrent, it's a task, remember. It's a task. So go there and then it will know. It's a task actually. Right click on the duplicate now. And then it's a task actually. It is not a concurrent program. Use this job. Click on it now. It will not run it. Go to the setup and maintenance. And then you go there. <clears throat> and then click on it. And then you go to the task. Paste the task and then run it. The task name and the upload ledger degree and discount. Click on LEBU, BU. Everything is now getting created in one go. Now. Click on it. I will not choose my uh, import one. Find out that. So it's the LEBU file. LEBU file. I'm opening it up. I click on submit now. That's it. It gets completed. It's so fast. But uh, something is missing on this now. That's why financials don't prefer this particular concurrent. I don't know. Uh, Nana, we know all these things. Man. <laughs> but we would like to prefer to do it manually. Actually. <laughs> it takes some two, three days. Doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, uh, when you have a huge number of LEs and VUs, then it may be handy. But Again, talk to them about uh, what is the problem, uh, why they are not really using it actually. Now, if you go there and then see this, not click on it, it's not running now. Uh, I will now go there and then have a look at it. Click on it. Click on it. Click on it. We'll now go and then have a look at the chart of accounts. So, manage chart of accounts. Manage calendars. Now. Manage accounting calendars. Manage accounting calendars. And then go ahead and look at it. So, manage accounting calendars. You would have created the 19th year and then 20th year also. Click on it. I will now query for this. Click on search. Now. Where is the search? Click on it. I will now say X01. Now. X01 entering now. So it is now created. I will click on it, edit now. 19th and 20th year calendar is created. And the 20th year is also created. It started from 1119 now, and then it has now created automatically this calendar. And then we will now go and then have a look at the chart of accounts now. Fine, click on it. So I will now go there, click on done now. <clears throat> have a look at the chart of accounts now. So manage uh, chart structures. SPRU percentage is entering now. So we are going to have a look at it now. Manage chart of accounts structure. structures now. And go there, click on it. And then click on search now. Fine. It will now be created. Fine. Go there. Click on manage structures and then go for X01 now. So X01. And then entry now. And then open it up. And then here, what I will be going and edit it. 
and go there. It's now created all the four segments actually. So go there, click on it. And then if you click on edit, it will now create what even with the company X01 value set also is now creating it actually. And then it will now put it. In. So they say this is okay. Chart of accounts is okay for the financials. So it creates everything along with the uh, flux field qualifier as well as it now creates a value set also. Default value set also is creating everything is now taken. And click on cancel now. So it does everything and click on cancel now. And then if you go to the instances also, you can now see this now. And go there. Structure instances, if you go there, you can now see X01. X01 on the maintain now. So you can have a look at it. And go there. Click on edit now. So you can see this also. <clears throat> so you know then. So you, the required tick mark is also put automatically. And then it is deploying it also. It is deploying it. The, the status is coming as deployed actually. The status is coming as deployed. And then it creates the common options now. Fine. You go there. So manage common options. Manage percentage. Common options for payables and receivables. So manage common options for payables and receivables. Payables per month. So this also it creates it actually. If you go there, it will be getting this also. So manage common options for payables and procurement. And I will not drop down the business unit. That's what X01. I don't know whether the business unit created or not. So it is not in created. I think. No, coming now. It's running actually. The content is running. So once when it runs, what happens? It will be creating the business unit also. It creates the common options also. It puts the appropriate account very correctly actually. Uh, we have seen it and then they saw that it is a very excellent concurrent. But only issue is what the biggest problem is. It runs around four concurrents actually. Fine. So it's all past. We have to wait for all the concurrents to succeed actually. And then it creates the receivable system options also. But receivable system options, they told me that I have to put the IBO now. Right? That is one thing which is missing because inventory org is not there. So in the receivable system options, we have to put the IBO. Without IBO, it will not work at all. So financial team told me that you please populate the IBO before you processing your uh, thing structure actually. So it's not taking a longer time. Actually, it doesn't matter. Fine, for two to five minutes is okay. And then you will go to that manage uh, uh, business units. Now fine, click on it. You know, see if the business unit is not created or not. So in this place, I will now go to the financials and then have a look at it now. And go to financials and then go to the manage business units. It creates everything over here. Click on enter now. So go to the manage business units and go there. Click on it. So now query for the X01 now. Go there. Click on it. Now see whether the business unit is ready or not. So X01 and then I click on search now. It is not a created actually. It's not actually running. And then it creates it and then it does the set of segments. And then only thing which you have to do on this now, I will not tell you. I'm going to click on back now. You have to make a change on one entity now. Right? Then two entities you have to change now. Uh, we have to make a change now. For us to work on the training actually. In the training, when you want to work, you have to make some two changes now. I'm going to click on it. I will not make it the financials now. Go there. So I will not say manage business units, business unit. Now. So I will not choose the manage business unit. Uh, set assignment is the one and manage business unit set assignment is the one. So let me choose the existing one now. Fine, that. In this place, you have to make one change, uh, rather two changes you have to make, then only it will work. Click on it. I will not choose the US one now. US one, I'm going to choose it. I click on search now. You are choosing the US one now. So US one business unit and then click on save and close now. <clears throat> so here is now coming as US one business unit. Now, fine. This will all be common sets actually. And then here on the a customer account relationship now fine on the customer account relationship and then on the customer account side you had to make it as enterprise actually because the enterprise is a common one the common set equivalent is enterprise as far as financial is concerned so these two things you have to make a change otherwise you cannot trade even a customer actually and then it will not work at all so you had to change it should not be a common set and then you have to make it as a, at least enterprise set if you don't have a set actually so here this is the place where you are doing click on cancel and then in the system options, they told me that uh, it doesn't populate the IBU automatically because I, IBU is not created actually. Right. Manage system options. So manage system options for receivables actually. Uh, manage system options for revenue management. Uh, manage system security options. Uh, what are the sheet? No more than sheets. I don't know how to look at it. Somewhere will be there. Manage system options. I'm doing it afterwards only. Uh, I don't know it yet. Somewhere I'll be doing it now. And this is I sat with the financial team and then I made this small worksheet actually. Uh, where is it? What is the number? No, no. Huh? You go to the you go to the site. You have searchable system options. Manage uh no, no, receivable yeah. system. Yeah, yeah. Manage receivable system options. Yeah. Manage receivable system options. So go there. I will not put the units fine. Is a US one, uh, US one, and then give a tab now. 
as an account. Get account. Click on search and then query for account. So it doesn't put the IVO because IVO is not created actually. Here's one. <clears throat> ah, go to the advanced and then query now. Click on search now. And I'll say starts with and make a search now. I don't like this search. I mean, you know, coming here only. Come on. Go there. You click on what happens, you click on the magnifier now. It will not show you in the bottom now. And then edit it now. And select it and then click on edit now. Edit. There, here, IVO is required actually. Otherwise, it will not work at all. So, this is you have to populate from your thing as well. So, there is one thing called IVO, item validation organization. This has to be put proper. So, the item validation. This is the one because inventory is not created. So, this you have to populate. That is what they told me. So, then afterwards, it worked. And that's it. Fine, go there. So click on the now. You now see the concurrent actually. Uploading in the there's no concurrent. You now see whether we have the business unit over there now. It. it creates everything on this now. In this place, you now go to the what's called financials. The left, left side also you can use it now. It's a managed business unit now. No query for it now. I will now go to the managed business unit. And then I have no query for my one now. X01, you now see whether it has got created or not. Oh, yeah. X01 and then click on search now. <clears throat> is it to come? Come on, yeah, it takes a long time. It takes a long time. The concurrent is still running. And that's it for me. From me, I hope that I have uh, done a reasonable amount of uh, basic knowledge for you now so that you can now build yourself on the basis basically and then go ahead now. If you have any questions, you can open up your video and then speak to me now. How do you feel the course? Is it informative for you? Open up your video and then speak now. In the last class now. Why last now? This is today the last actually. No, we have OM, right? OM is coming on 6th of July. Oh, then anyway, we are going to continue, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, many of them don't like they agree that what happens. I'm not covering so much of the topics on the OM, so they may not join anything for the OM uh, because of uh, what happens there. The thing. But the basics are covered actually. The, that knowledge you'll be getting actually. Now, talk here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Actually, I check with Hyderabad Research. Uh, compared to Hyderabad Research, Lakshman, IRPT Lakshman, and Rainbow, you are covered almost uh, everything. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your comments. Mm. You are Tarak, na? What is your name? Yes, yes. Tarak only. Tarak. Tarak. From which place? Hyderabad only. Hyderabad only. Okay, man. thank you for your comments. Yeah. Anybody else? You can open up your video and then speak also, fine, so that we can now see you also. Thank you. If there is any, any issues, that okay? Oh God, your voice is breaking actually. What are you saying actually? Anybody? He's saying something and I couldn't understand this. His voice is breaking actually. Uh, he, he was asking if he can contact you, uh, Nana, even after. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can, you can always contact me fine, through my email. Uh, and then uh, I have my, given my WhatsApp number also. Fine. You can always contact and then I will know, try to clarify your doubts. So when you are in the field and then you are getting stuck, uh, to the best possible extent, I will know, help you out. Fine. That I always do. <coughs> Sir, Radesh here. Hello, sir. I'm opening my video. You are pending the purchasing. Purchasing, I want to delay because what happens, I know only one pillar now. Fine. Many people are asking for so many, all the pillars now. Fine. I have to sit and then lead. I don't have the patience, mood, everything. Fine. Whenever I'm learning it, at least one, two of them, at least sourcing as well as self service procurement, I want to complete and then afterwards I conduct the training. It's taking time. Yes, no, sir. Yes, anybody else? Sir, Rajesh here from Hyderabad. Okay, tell me, yeah. Sir, you are so energetic, excellent. Okay. Only thing, no, well, like people like me who are non uh, IT, non uh, evil background, you need to, I think, one or two lines, uh, deep, this thing I need to add. Uh, that's what I feel. Yeah. See, non IT is a bit difficult because you are know, entering into the IT for the first time and then bombarded with this much of information. You go through slowly and then practice everything. Fine. That way uh, you can do it. No? Fine. Your hard work will now make you perfect actually. Many non-IT people give a call and then they are saying finding it very difficult actually. But uh, see, you no know, industry is easy actually. 
if you want to succeed you have to put a lot of effort actually that is true correct <clears throat> but um, only thing one two lines of information at some uh, places would definitely add a lot to us uh, because we will also be equal at this other people see is a big course and then we cannot go in depth into each and every thing now fine in my order management i will not be teaching anything on the inventory and procurement fine all goes directly step 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 and then going to oem now because we don't have time to do each and everything on each and every training actually it's very difficult actually. i know just uh, karthik here just uh, just a note for everybody to give a perspective of uh, the value that you are providing videos of um, any one module uh, across the board whether it is rainbow or erp tree anywhere the cost is around uh, 17000 rupees or 20000 rupees i'm not talking instructor led training i'm talking just videos alone self study videos so uh, i mean if we pay 3000 rupees and we are getting almost uh, i don't know 60 70 man hours of your time if you take the support that you're providing uh, it's just i mean it's it's a no brainer i i i would just say it's uh, more than a steal so <laughs> i mean people who are new to erp world should feel extremely lucky that uh, you are available and you are able to you know give so much time so uh, they will appreciate after a few years thank you <laughs> this camera chenna yeah, tell me i also agree with uh, the, the last uh, phrase of the sentence so what about the the value for money if you see in that particular concept the training and the effort and you know how much you take that effort to explain the concepts it's really you know i don't know how to appreciate it but uh, i we we really enjoyed your training so we want thank to be part you. of the upcoming training training itself so mm. thanks for it and nana sir another one thing i wanted to tell you to the group i was a student of uh, uh nana before 15 17 years back and uh, i got trying to give him uh, uh, in ebis now again i joined the group cloud i was waiting for him to teach me uh, last uh, last year i think 2019 he was taking from us he went to his uh, uh, daughter's house and he was taking uh, for order management but i could not able to join but this time i joined so we are waiting for more and more trainings uh, of nana sir <laughs> always he is uh, my guru okay, okay. thank you so thank nobody you. can beat nana as you this satish here yeah you can even open up your video and then speak so i can yeah see actually this. my side it's already uh, <laughs> because of the kiddos okay 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 uh, so nana sir i used to say always i'm fan of you <laughs> and uh, we are, i only one request you should get a lot more uh, jargons like vandichi poda pogga all kind of jargons <laughs> for us to be uh, you know i i saw one of the videos of your uh, as camera uh, just we kind of the old video you were using lot of jargons there <laughs> and you have uh, reduced uh, <laughs> and uh, one other thing i want to share like uh, really appreciate uh, karthik should be here and uh, there are very many people who are here uh, really and they will also be helpful for you in implementation uh, so that you can even uh, approach them whenever you having a problem that's true without any uh, you know request they stepped in their own you know, voluntarily and they are volunteering uh, yes, and they need help you know uh, definitely uh, cannot uh, get this at from uh, in other training i would uh, request them to join for order management <laughs> <laughs> for people like us uh, to get and uh, good then yeah anyway but uh, salute to your uh, training thank you sir mm. murli here yes murli yeah hey yeah, murli i want to see your face here i have not seen yeah. your face so we are dark sir and we want to end up nana sir last uh, in the 2008 he trained from nana from the 11 so my career started with nana sir in the best train in the world you can provide an unknowledgeable person the knowledge person the year to it he the best trainer and i have ever seen in my last 10 years he given many trainings to oracle also on the ebs i am expecting more training from you nana on the field thank you thank you i have a trainer now also for oracle university actually yeah. <laughs> he he given the trainings to the oracle team oracle love yeah yeah, I, so yeah. Ever, because of competition i am not getting the opportunity actually there are eight of us are there in the supply chain and then uh, uh, i don't get the opportunity actually 
because of a heavy competition. Anybody else? Okay, fine. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Vibor, for your class. Very, very excellent running videos. Okay. So, if you like my training, you can put a green tick against your name. Or I just see about how you are liking it actually. Good. Thank you. Karthik, will you share the document, latest document? Karthik. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was going to say that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank I, you, I'm thank you. Actually, I'm lagging behind. Thanks for preparing the excellent document also. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm lagging behind. Give me, give me a few days. Maybe Nana, you will uh, keep the WhatsApp group active, right? I can yeah, share it. Or I will all the four file doors will be kept active till third July now, and afterwards I will now remove the access. So please, also download it, and then uh, Karthik will be uploading it before third July. So please, uh, what happens if you uh, download everything? Uh, somebody else is also speaking now. Right? Yeah, no, no, sir. Surinder. Yeah, who is Vibor, na? Surinder, Surinder. Surinder, okay, fine, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. So it was really bad, great that training, and I learned a lot of things. So even I was uh, having some knowledge related to financials. So now I got a good hands-on also <laughs> in inventory as well. Thanks a lot. I will join the order management as well. Thank you. Fine. Good. <clears throat> Anybody else who wants to speak? Uh, one thing uh, good is like even after the class, uh, you are spending a lot of time to answer uh, <laughs> the queries of others. You are spending a lot and lot of time on that. So it's it's very different from other institutes. They just take the course and uh, uh, they won't care about after the class. So it's really good. Thank you. Thank you, Dinesh. It's very true, right? I know now before this side. It's a really a good, very good session, right? I have, I was your student from the EBIS time also, right? Uh -huh. Means uh, it's a really fantastic uh, training, like which I have never seen anywhere, right? So I have learned so many things, but like the I am lagging behind to do the practice, but now I will do a practice on that, right? To learn more about that and thanks for the other uh, participants basically Karthik, Subhu and Murli right like who really support us right in absence of you but like it's a really really good session for us. Thank you. Thank thanks you. Lord, Anybody else? Okay then now uh, stop the recording now. Right? So thanks all of you for attending this training and then I wish you all the best in your professional career actually. Right? Will not shine like anything. Many students have done a lot of exploration and they've learned a lot. The basic knowledge is being given to you, and then you can now do explore many things and then identify and then reach dizzy heights. Bye for now. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Nana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nana. Thank you. Thank you.